How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your host Rising. I believe in today guys we're going to be talking about Persona 4 Arena Ultimax which is going to be coming out on the PS4, Nintendo Switch and also on Steam. So sorry it is not going to be ported over to any Xbox type of stuff so that kind of sucks and I'm sorry about that but I'm going to try and give you the rundown exactly as to what this means and also a pretty cool discount if you actually have Persona 4 Golden on Steam as well. So there's actually a lot of incentive here for the Steam users but I'm going to go ahead and talk about what kind of stuff we're going to be getting from this and whether or not you need to play the original game. So let's just start with that first. So a lot of people are wanting to know whether or not the Ultimax version is going to be just basically a sequel to the other ones and if you have to play the original one, no. You can play this version and still get the original story as well so you're going to be getting pretty much what happens sort of after persona 4 golden and stuff like that here if you're wondering about like story elements and whatnot so this is good to go ahead and get on um, whatever you're going to be playing it on and we'll give you sort of all the story there um this is p4a story mode on this picture i want to go ahead and put it on the screen now so as you're seeing this picture here it's going to be telling you basically all of the stuff that you're going to be having within this but i do want to add there are a couple different versions of this game that you can find on Steam and where else so those should be coming up soon if not then I'm sorry and we'll have to make some corrections but this is basically what we have here so it's the P4A U so Arena Alamax there's a digital standard edition it looks like there's also a midnight channel collection edition as well so what you get there is some additional nav voices additional background music the glasses full pack the all icons pack additional colors full pack boss characters are also unlocked all fighting titles are unlocked um, challenge demonstrations the p4a story mode which is the thing that people have been kind of wondering if they need to play one of the past fighting games no nope, that's it right there you also get the adachi story mode and you also get three additional characters not really going to spoil exactly what the characters are and what you get 100% with this stuff but it's a lot of cosmetic things other fighters and other titles and stuff like that that you're going to be having um, for this game and like I said it is coming out on the PS4 the Nintendo Switch and Steam but the day that is going to be coming out is March 17th 2022 and I would not be surprised if the Persona 25th anniversary thing has some sort of announcement for this later and maybe shows off some more gameplay and does some more stuff for this later so you might want to be kept up to date subscribe to the channel in case you are wanting to know some extra things down the line if they do talk a little bit about this later but another really cool thing that it shows within this picture here too is for a limited time Persona 4 Golden owners that have it on Steam will receive a 30% discount on the Persona 4 Arena uh, Ultimax with the Midnight Channel collection. So pretty interesting how a lot of the sales, I think, for Persona 4 Golden now, even considering the Vita and all that stuff like that, a lot of people have it on Steam. So a lot of people are actually going to get this $30 or 30% discount on this game, which the game in general I don't think is very much. And I was saying $30 because I do believe it is actually $30. 30% discount, that's actually not too bad. You're going to be able to get quite a bit of stuff from uh, having Persona 4 Golden. So if right now you're wanting to just jump into P4 in general and you're wanting to have a lot of P4 stuff, getting Persona 4 Golden and getting Ultimax as well is a pretty solid deal. And let's say maybe you have some time until March 17th of 2022. Now might be a good time for you to go ahead and play Persona 4 Golden because you at least know down the road you have a $30 discount, but it does say for a limited time. So you will need to eventually quickly buy the Persona 4 Arena on Steam as well in order to get that discount. Unfortunately, it's only for Steam because Persona 4 Golden is not out on the PS4 or the Nintendo Switch, so it's impossible to have any kind of discount there. And it really sucks that we don't have Persona 4 Golden on Switch or on PS4 because really right now anything persona 4 related or a lot of the new persona content a lot of it's actually pushed over to pc so unfortunately a lot of the stuff is going to be there and like i said i want to keep this video video sweet sweet and simple so i think i'm going to cut things here i'm not going to go on my p4 tangent but i would like to see it jump to other consoles and stuff like that that would be nice but that's a little update there hopefully um we'll see a little bit more about this down the road who really knows here but um yeah it looks like we're finally getting some ports and i think this is a big one that a lot of people wanted i wasn't super super excited for this but 
I'm still excited to some degree. I love Persona and I never played these games. It's going to be really fun, honestly, to go ahead and be able to experience this game and also to experience it on PC, of all things, too. And the compactness of the Switch, and if you're just a typical gamer and you don't really care, you just got a PS4, this is going to be on there, too. So, pretty easy grab. It's a pretty, pretty good fighting game for what I understand. It's from the same people, the Arc System people, the same people that make Dragon Ball Fighters. So, let's say if you're not really into Persona a whole lot, but you're into fighting games, you want a fighting game that's very similar to that, this could be a pretty decent gateway into uh, playing Persona games. It's obviously going to be a lot different from like a mainstream, you know, Persona game, but just to get to know the characters and stuff like that. Unfortunately, you will be kind of spoiled, though, uh, with certain characters and certain aspects. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Guys, like, comment, subscribe for more content. I'll keep you up to date on all things Persona uh, for the 25th anniversary and everything else. But, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.